Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well. Coach Cam here with your workout breakdown for Monday, April 27th. So uh, as always, we have two options for you today. Uh, the only piece of equipment you will need, if you have any, is a skipping rope. That's for both options. Uh, obviously, there's a version that um, requires no equipment at all, so we'll talk about all that. So the workout today is two sets. It starts with a 400 meter run or uh, 90 seconds of high knees followed by 15 hand release push-ups. Then you'll do 100 double unders, or if you don't have a rope, you'll do 75 jumping jacks. You'll do another 15 hand release push-ups, and then you'll finish that first set with a 400 meter run. That is one set. Once you are complete that, you will rest for four minutes. After the four minute rest, you will do that one more time. Run, hand release push-up, double under or jumping jack, hand release push up and run. So two full sets with four minutes of rest in between and that's it. The target time we want you to try to achieve per set is about six minutes, but we don't want you to go over 10 for each set. So we want you to cap it at that 10 minutes. If you're looking for something a little more challenging, uh, we've got sort of a second option, uh, which is again, two sets. Uh, so set number one will be a 400 meter run again, and then you will do 10 either strict or kipping handstand push-ups instead of the hand release, followed by a 100 double unders, this time no option for jumping jacks in the second version, 10 more strict or kipping handstand push-ups, and then again, finishing with a 400 meter run, resting four minutes, and then fin doing one more set of exactly that. The timing is a bit different this time. We want you to try to target around eight minutes per set uh, with a time cap of about 12 minutes per set. So a little different because the movements are different. Okay, let's break down the movements in today's workouts. So the 400 meter run is pretty straightforward. Try and find um, a distance that you know is around 400 meters. If you're near a track, you can do that. Uh, as well as you've heard Coach Seth say before, you know, if you've got the app on your phone, Strava, Map My Run, you can use that to track the 400 meters. If you're doing the 90 seconds of high knees, we just simply want you to try to get your knees up to at least the height of your waist or the, uh, the crease of your hip and then moving uh, throughout the entire 90 seconds. Okay. For the hand release push-ups, uh, everything's the same with the standard push-up. You want your chest and thighs to hit the ground, moving in a straight line, but we want you to release your hands at the bottom so that we know the, uh, the rep is full range of motion. Feel free to drop your knees uh, to assist in the movement. Everything still applies while we release our hands at the bottom. For the double unders, of course, you do have an option to do singles. If you're still working on your double unders, you can do 150 singles instead if you'd like to skip. And then of course the double under requires you that rope to go around you twice for every single jump. So making sure you're increasing the height of your jump and um, turning up the speed of the rope to get that around twice. If you are doing the jumping jack option, we want you to uh, move with quality here, having your hands and feet move at the same time. Jumping jacks are pretty straightforward, but let's try and be consistent throughout the, the full 75 reps. And then of course you'll go back to that hand release push up and followed by another 400 meter run to finish that first set, resting four minutes and then completing it again for uh, option number one for the wad. Okay, so for the adva more advanced uh, version of today's workout, a 400 meter run is exactly the same as we just explained. Uh, for the strict or kipping handstand pushups, you've got some options. Find yourself a space that you can easily flip upside down, put a pad under your head, and for the strict, it's exactly what it is. We don't want any assistance of the legs or the hips. So you're coming down to the bottom, just tapping the ground slightly and then pushing up in a strict motion. For the kipping handstand push-up, you can now use your legs. So bring your knees as close to your waist and your chest as you can. Kick hard and push at the same time to uh, accelerate yourself up and out of the bottom to complete the handstand push-up. All right, guys, so pretty straightforward warm-up today. You're gonna do three rounds of either 50 single unders with your jump rope uh, or 30 jumping jacks. Then you'll do five push-ups, making sure we're doing full range of motion all the way down, all the way up, and then 30 seconds of either a handstand hold or a 30-second uh, plank from the forearm. Okay, everybody, have a great workout today. Make sure you go to our website to check out uh, our Zoom class times, uh, find out information about the committed club. You gotta make sure you're submitting your scores at the end of the week to be part of that club so we can draw your name. Uh, otherwise, again, have a great workout. I hope you and your family are being safe, and we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.